Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. We have some awesome news coming from Sevastopol. This bay, this harbor of the Russian army was attacked the last night with the help of the drones and submarine drones. So here's the Sevastopol city, that is actually my hometown that was taken from me by the Russian occupiers. I believe that we're gonna liberate this city. For now it is the biggest Russian base for their marine fleet the Black Sea Fleet and today there were some of the attacks on that place. Firstly, Russians claimed that there was some kind of exercise. Then they start to tell that it was a drone attack just from the air and they shut down everything. But later they continued to say about the submarine drones. But still they stated that they shut down everything and somehow they admitted that one of the ships got some of the damages. So how it could be possible if they shut down everything uh, my friends we're gonna talk about it after the short break for the sponsor of today's video the sponsor of today's video is atlas vpn my friends probably already became the ambassador of the atlas vpn since we work for a very long time but today it's really awesome and limited opportunity for you to join the club still black friday deal and you'll have atlas vpn premium for just 170 per month plus six months extra with a 30-day money-back guarantee. It is a best Atlas VPN offer for the year. And I can personally confirm that you will not find any kind of the VPN services that will guarantee you the same security level of your private accounts. If you don't care about your digital security, my friends, think twice. Five years ago, I lost my pilot blog YouTube channel and I have to restart it. Basically, my device was hacked. If I would have used Atlas VPN, it won't be happy. So I tried many VPNs since that time, but for Atlas VPN, I trust the most. Also, Atlas VPN grants me the full access to any kind of the series on the Netflix streaming platform. So I don't care about the government restrictions any longer. And sometimes I check the enemy side social media and for that I also use the Atlas VPN. You can basically change your virtual location to any point in the world. And Atlas VPN is so fast that you will never feel the difference whether it's on or off. But I do recommend it to keep it on all the time. And now please check out my personal link for the Atlas VPN in a video description below. Still Black Friday deal and you'll have Atlas VPN Premium for 170 per month plus 6 months extra and a 30 day money back guarantee. My friends, this offer is time limited, so hurry up and join the club. Atlas VPN helps a lot to my channel and also Ukrainian people, so thank you Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. For now, this harbor in Sevastopol is closed. There are some civilian ferries and they cannot go across the bay because of the new restrictions applied and also Russia closed all of the public cameras in the city. They also restrict people to film anything, but still we have some of the leaks to the telegram. And now let's go to the latest news and events to see more details. So this video appeared recently from the public camera. You can see the huge explosion in that area and it's been reported that Admiral Makarov, the new flagship of the Russian Black Sea Marine Fleet, was damaged. Yet Russians haven't confirmed that, but they stated that some kind of the ship got damages. And those are the pictures taken from the Sevastopol this morning. You can see there is some kind of the oil storage and there is the fire in it. Probably some of the drones went there or maybe they just hit some of the ships that were refueling. So there are two spots. This one and that one two spots of fires hmm. by the way we have a nice yacht on the front also so this is the admiral makarov it's kind of big ship it may carry cruise missiles and new flagship of the russian marine fleet we got the information that it wasn't destroyed completely but it got the damages that will not allow it to go and fire rockets again to ukrainian territory for a long time and this russian general commander alexander lapin he's the commander of the group center of the russian forces he was dismissed 
today. This guy was responsible for Limon defense and we took Limon and after it Kadyrov was very angry on this general and finally I think Putin listened to Kadyrov and just dismissed this guy. And obviously this action will increase the confrontation between the regular Russian army and Kadyrov's militia and also private military army Wagner. Then I look through the Russian publics and some of the media resources they usually blame the regular army for the wrongdoing. Also news we have the exchange of our prison soldiers and uh, 52 soldiers came back to Ukrainian territory again. The youngest one is just 18 years old and the oldest one is 56. Some of the Azov guys also were freed from the Russian prison. That's great. Yes, my friends, for now we got the reports about the damaged Russian ships from non-official resources, so I cannot 100% confirm that. Uh, so now we have the information that Admiral Essen one more destroyer of the Russian forces was damaged. It is a huge win for Ukraine because those ships were firing rockets to Ukrainian critical infrastructure. And this afternoon, Russia already said that they canceled their presence in a grain agreement. So they are openly saying that they will not let the food supplies from Ukrainian ports to the third countries. They threat the world with hunger. In Ukraine, we will not have it because we have productive lands, we have resources, we have have mainly everything to sustain normal living but the third countries my friends they all struggle recently the ukrainian army was able to shut down the mojahid 6 iranian made drone we got it almost with no damage so it was awesome to research the parts of that drone and we found out that the most details are coming from the western countries so for 75 percent this drone is made in united states japan china sweden Austria and Ukraine. Yes, we were able to find one component that was produced in Ukraine and for now the investigation continues with our Western lies and we need to find out how it was possible to supply this critical equipment that is used by the sanctioned country Iran and Iran may use it to attack anyone, Israel, Ukraine, as we see, and maybe even the United States. So we need to restrict that components to go to Iran, for sure. Our intelligence chief said that Russia may use Iranian-made rockets and more sophisticated drones next year, but it will not change the outcome for Russia. But still it presents the great threat for Ukrainian army and our society, civilians. We got this from Forbes, 12,000 Russian troops that were defending Kaliningrad, remote Russian land between Lithuania and Poland, so they were sent to fight in Ukraine and mostly all of them died. It was the 11th Corps of the Kaliningrad area. Today we got the satellite images showing that Russia left Chernobyvka airfield. Even during Ukrainian successful artillery attacks on that airfield, Russia still remained their units over there. They put these barricades everywhere. And today we got the satellite image showing that there are no any vehicles in that airfield. It means that they are retreating. Interesting article came from the Washington Post. They say that Russian security services are working to dismiss or displace the Moldovan leader. Her name is Maya Saudo and she is pro-Western politics. However, inside Moldova itself, there are lots of the pro-Russian uh, thinking of some people and Russia wants to use them for the control coup in the Moldova country. But if we see this article, it means that Western countries already know about it and they will not let it happen. We got one more video showing the blast in Sevastopol Bay, so you can see the water comes up uh, over there and there is some kind of this big column. It happened early morning, you can see some of the fires and big boom in a bay. Today's State Department representative Ned Price said that the United States are not excluding any kind of actions to stop Iranian drone supplies and rocket supplies to Russian side, so probably some of the ships or maybe some of the airplanes may not fly into the Russian airspace for some of the reasons. Canada will release the special obligations to help Ukraine. Thank you, Canada. We need your support as usual and 
stay awesome. We have this article from Spiegel uh, saying that German special forces, or it's better to say German intelligence, knew that Russia is looking for the possible scenario of the usage of nuclear weapons on German uh, territory. For example, Berlin, United States Air Base at Rammstein, and also uh, Butchel Air Base uh, where nuclear weapons are stored. Nowadays you can see that more and more intelligence services are releasing some of the information about Russia. As I see it now, the idea of our Western lies is to show Russia as totally uncontrollable state for the third countries as India and China. And that is why we see those leaks in the media services. And you know what? Even Liz Truss's personal phone was hacked by Putin spies. We have this news coming uh, maybe on the Facebook. I don't know where it comes from. Uh, don't trust it for now because I cannot confirm it. And this one I took from my Telegram channel. I already posted it there. Uh, so Belarusian army tries to put a new technologies to their tanks protections so the grill 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 everywhere and they also put some sort of the thermal deflector on the long bar and we have already memes about it so they should put it on a helicopter <laughs> here as well uh, destroyer yeah more more uh, kind of interesting stuff you can could you can put more you can uh, <laughs> do barbecue there <laughs> potatoes <laughs> Uh, it's it's just funny this video was released today some kind of the small boat it goes across the sea you can see some of the ships over there probably it could be some sort of the small boat drone we have uh, today's and some kind of artillery fire to that boat probably that one was used to attack the Sevastopol Bay who knows for now I cannot state that this particular video was filmed on today's attack and if you look at the sky well it could be oh some awesome news Ukraine got T-55S uh, tanks from Slovenia T-55S is the modernized version of the T-55 which is quite old but with a new engine new armor new turret and everything it could be a potentially nice tank so 28 already received and we expect more more than 50 it happened the first time in history united states gave ukraine the satellite communication systems based on those humvees and we already use them on the front lines the most important thing in a modern day war is not the mighty military power the most important is the logistics supplement communication and precision. The new milestone for the Russian army altogether they lost more than 70,000 soldiers in Ukraine according to Ukrainian statistics. By the way it's not very precise I know that but more or less it's real and confirmed by some of the leaks from the Russian side. We have one more video with that drone. I think it could be Sevastopol my friends so maybe this video is genuine and for now i trust it because we have that sort of the stella in sebastopol area so you see this small boat there are some russians inside and they did afraid of that thing and then it comes closer one of the russians decided to jump away because he thought that this uh, tiny little drone boat will hit his boat and they would lose their lives and finally uh, the, this small boat missed and it just passed the Russian soldier and probably hit the other target. So could it be Ukrainian attack? Why not? Could it be the Russian provocation? Yes, it could. There are no new updates for the military map. However, my friends, don't forget to check the link in the video description below for the Atlas VPN. They have a limited proposition. So go for it, grab it and join the club. My friends, I wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are. Have a great time.